Good morning, everybody. Good morning, NAF family. You know, I just love being here. You know, I, every time I, I get invited to a NAF, NAF Next event, you know, it's always full of positive energy. So when I come in here, I just love it. I love interacting with all of you. It's, it's fantastic. So last week, I'm sitting in Madrid, Spain. Here I've focused. I'm, I'm going to speak to a, I was preparing to speak to a gathering of CEOs and general managers from around the world in different industries. And I'm focused, and I get a message. So look at my message. You know, that's why you should never look at your message when you're focused. Because it says, hey, Eric, great that we're in contact. We are the organizing committee of your 30th year high school reunion. And boom, I get away. I, I get up from Madrid all the way back to high school, and, you know, 30 years ago. And I start thinking of, you know, friends and, and, and then the teachers and, and that I had, a, I had a lot of hair back then. I used to comb it, and now I have no hair. And, and I used to play basketball. I was telling Bill Taylor this morning, I play basketball all the time now, but then I can't walk. Back then I played on the basketball team. But listen, no doubt that the most important experience I had in high school was NAF. And NAF was just a concept back then. It's not this great organization we had then. But it really, as I look back, the NAF experience is what instilled in me a lot of the skills that have helped me throughout my career. So when I stand here today, I don't only stand as a CEO of an international communications public affairs firm, but more importantly, I stand as Eric De La Fuente, a proud alumnus of the first, the first graduating class of the Academy in Travel and Tourism of, wait, wait a minute. They will never forgive me for this. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that, oh this doesn't turn out. Oh, the Miami. Where are the Miami? Miami Springs. Senior high, yeah, way back, 30 years ago. Oh, it did turn on. I love it. Miami's always making some sort of statements, so I'll always be back, back there. But, but my story is just one, just one of many stories of NAF alumni all over, all over this great nation. And, and that is why I'm excited today to present a panel that you're going to enjoy of students and alumni, because it gives you a small glimpse. You open that window into that great talent that we have in our network. And there's even a lot more out there talent that we don't know. So I was honored to serve as a first chair of the Alumni Leadership Council. And the Alumni Leadership Council is 10 alumni volunteers, and we're growing that number from around the country, that we work together with NAF staff to engage, to bring, bring in more alumni into our NAF family, to make sure they get engaged, to make sure that we identify some of those uh, uh, alumni that are now in their careers. Now, engaging alumni is at the heart of our organization. And we've done a lot, but there's so much more to be done, and for that, we need to work together and need your help because alumni are important. And I think, and we talk with, I talk with JD about this all the time, it's at the heart of the future of this organization. Alumni can be your business partners. Alumni can be vital in getting a paid internship for your students, be being volunteers, being mentors. But just as important, alumni can engage students to not just tell them, but to show them that the NAF experience does not end at the end of high school. It starts its best chapter, and that's it. it's important. So I hope that this November, we will all work together to celebrate National Alumni Month and happen all over the country. So we'll be happy to be working with you in any way that we can do that, because we want to feature those stories from alumni from different parts of the country that we don't know about, and we want to bring them to our family. So that is important. You'll hear more about that today. So now, without further ado, I wanted to introduce the panel that, is, that you're going to enjoy.